Hi Dollar Divas, welcome back to my channel. So I know I don't do nearly enough like natural looks and so I'm trying to get better at that because I do know that's like one of the number one things that you want. So today I'm gonna be doing a natural makeup look and most everything is from Dollar Tree but I do have an item from Timu. So basically everything is within that dollar price point and I will be using no foundation today. So of course, if you're a returning Dollar Diva, thank you so much for coming on back for another video. And if you're new to my channel, my name is Jessica and I'm basically a bargain makeup channel. So what that means is I love to do a lot of the same fun makeup content that other channels do, but I just like to keep it in the bargain price point. So the closer to a dollar, the better, because let's face it, even the drugstore isn't so affordable anymore. So if it sounds like you're in the right place, I do hope you'll become part of our Dollar Diva family here on YouTube. And if you're interested in more content like this, I will have a bunch of stuff linked down below in the description box that way you can binge watch some of my other content and um, yeah so without any further chit chat let's just go ahead and get into today's video so I am going to start with eyebrows and now if you have beautiful full eyebrows you can of course skip this step I obviously do not so if you have like beautiful full eyebrows that maybe are a little bit unruly and you want to use like a clear wax or something like that go on ahead I would do that if I could but my eyebrows do need a little bit of help so the most natural way to get a brow is generally going to be a powder versus a pencil, I feel. So I've got this little LA Colors brow kit. This is new at Dollar Tree and I bought the little brush as well. So I'm just going to use this little kit. I kind of mix into both of the shades and I'm going to try to use a fairly light hand today because I'm going to try to keep this as natural as I can. I have tweezed my brows. I said in like a couple of videos ago that I'll say it in every video that I need to tweeze my brows and I just forget every time that I finally did. Like I said, if you have like beautiful brows, um, First of all, I'm jealous, but, um, but yeah, I would just leave them alone, just maybe brush them out and put some clear gel or something like that on them. So yeah, my goal for today's look is to really make it look like I'm not really wearing any makeup. Okay, my left eyebrow is always so much harder for me to do. This look is going to be a vast difference from my last video where I tested out that new Ioni eyeshadow and it's like just super shifty and iridescent and multi-chrome and duochrome-esque. It's so pretty. If you missed that, I will have that link down below. So there we go. Just a nice little light brow. I'm just going to brush them through again. This is about as natural as I am able to do them. So I am going to use my concealer. Like I said, I'm not using foundation today. If you need to, of course, by all means, use some tinted moisturizer or foundation. I'm just going to use concealer because luckily, right, what I lack in eyebrows, I have in decent skin. So, But I am going to take a little bit of my concealer and I just have the Be Pure Essentially Ageless Concealer. And I am going to clean up my eyebrows just a tad. Of course, you can skip this step. This is not a necessary step for anybody. I think I'm gonna put a little bit on my eyelid, just a little bit, kind of brighten them up a tad. I said very, very little. This isn't gonna be major here at all. Okay, so brows are done. Like I said, I put a little bit of that concealer on my eyelids. And I'm gonna go ahead and continue concealing. So I'm just gonna put a little bit, probably a little bit more, like I'm probably gonna put this in more places than I would if I was wearing foundation, just to neutralize some of the redness in my skin. Of course, like I said, you can even skip concealer and just um, kind of put a little bit of foundation and moisturizer together, wear your favorite tint moisturizer. and then just kind of diffuse it around. This is a really lovely concealer. So there we go, just kind of got rid of some of the redness in my skin. So a very, so a very readily available thing at the Dollar Tree, and this is a, just a great multi-purpose item. I've lost the cap of mine, but it's the LA Colors Contour Stick in Light. I'm gonna use this for just a little bit of brightening. And my camera is not wanting to focus on anything right now, so I can only show you from like a distance because it won't focus. Um, yeah, having all kinds of problems. But anyways, it's the LA Colors Contour Stick and like we're gonna use this to kind of brighten up my eyes a little bit. I'm gonna use it, it's like an under brow bone highlight and anything else that I feel I might need. And we may come back and use this a little later too. See, there we go, just to like a lifting effect. Except we might come back to that a little bit later as well. I'm not gonna use lashes today because of course, it, I want it to look as natural as possible, but I'm going to use my current 
favorite mascara from Dollar Tree. It's the Ioni Lengthening Mascara with Fibers. And to me, this is the best that I've tried at the Dollar Tree. I'm gonna probably actually end up putting two or three coats of this on to make my lashes as long as possible without going falsy today. I'm gonna also be diving into a lot of cream products as well. They just look so dewy and pretty and fresh. Okay, I'm gonna let that first coat dry and I'm gonna move on to bronzer. So LA Colors makes some cream bronzer products. Of course, you can use powder if you'd like to, but I'm gonna use the Be Pure Glow Up Contour. This is, it's the fair medium shade and they are the, the Charlotte Tilbury dupes. So I'm gonna put some on the back of my hand. That's the best way of applying cream and liquid products. I'm gonna take a stippling brush. I'm just gonna really diffuse this. Well, the, I really like the darker shade and it's not as scary as I thought it would be, but I want it to keep this like as natural as I can. I want the lighter shade today. Kind of just put it where the sun would naturally hit. Put a little bit on my chin. There we go, just a nice natural dewy glow. I'm gonna do the same thing with blush. So I'm also gonna use a liquid highlighter and a liquid blush product. This is from my own. I just used this in my last Testing New Dollar Tree makeup video. It's just a really nice natural color for my skin tone. It's not too pink, um, which is nice when you want to do like a natural look, especially if you're my skin tone. It's in the shade Warm Rose. Then I've got the other Charlotte Tilbury dupe from Be Pure. This is the highlighter. This is in Sparkling Rose. And what I'm gonna do to keep this like natural, I'm just gonna take a little bit of this and put it on the back of my hand. A little of this goes a long way. I'm gonna take a little bit of the highlighter as well. And I'm just gonna put tiny, ever so slight. And I'm not even gonna clean off my brush. I'm gonna use the same stippling brush. See, so I'm gonna put a little bit of highlighter and a little bit of the blush together. And I'm gonna really kind of fuse these together. And I'm hoping this will just kind of diffuse the blush a little bit and add just a really, really nice glow. You can put a little bit up here, a little bit down the nose. Again, I'm just gonna go like that with my fingers. There we go, just a super natural look and just a little ever so dewy, you know? So now I'm gonna put another coat of mascara on and I will be right back. So there is the difference between coat one and coat two. I put coat two on this eye. Okay, so coat number two is on. I was gonna use maybe a little bit of pressed powder, although I really am kind of liking the glow. And of course you can use any kind that you want. I'm just gonna go with this clarifying pressed powder by Be Pure that I used in my last video. And I'm just gonna use just a little bit, not much at all, just the tiniest, amount because I really want to keep that glow. So for my eyes, this is not like a necessary step, but I'm going to add a little bit of dimension to my eyes. I'm just going to put a little dot of that liquid blush and then a little dot of the bronzer. And I'm just going to mix them together on the back of my hand. So I kind of get the shade right here. And I'm just going to put some of this on my eye, like in my crease. I feel like this one's a little darker, so I'm going to take my concealer brush and I'm just going to diffuse it a little bit. See, it just gives us a little nice, little something on the eye. Again, I'm gonna take the LA Colors Contour and I'm just gonna kind of put it on the inner part of my eye like that, just for a little bit more of a brightening effect. See, just like that, right there. Then, then you smudge. This blends really, really nice. So I'm gonna do one more coat of mascara and we're gonna finish off with the lips. Okay, so I've got three coats of mascara on. See, this just has a lovely effect for $1.25. Can't beat it at the Dollar Tree. So for my lips, I used this pretty recently in a Testing New Dollar Tree makeup video. These are um, another Be Pure dupe for a Tarte lip product. The name escapes me at the moment, but it's the Silky Lip Cream, and this is in the shade Pink Velvet. See, it comes in like this type of a container, and it's just this kind of pinkish type of a lip cream. So when you put it on, it, I kind of remember it being, there's like a redder shade too, but I'm gonna use the pink today. I just remember it being like my lips, but better. You know, I could have done like a clear gloss, but I just wanted to keep it a little bit unpredictable and kind of smudging it around a little bit. See, there we go, just a really nice, natural matte lip, you know? So there we go, we get a nice, just kind of a no makeup, makeup look, super natural, no foundation. Of course, you could go no eyebrow products if you want or even no powder. I put it the tiniest little bit of powder, but of course, you know, like I said, if you have beautiful brows, I would omit the brows as well. I can't do that, but if you can, I would do that for sure. So I hope you enjoyed this minimal makeup look using Bargain Makeup. 
like I said, I know you guys have been wanting more content kind of like this, more minimal, natural looks. So I do really want to try doing them for you more. Um, so if you did enjoy this, show me you did by hitting the like button. Again, definitely go check out the description box for more content. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.